Hello, my name's Amanda Huell. I'm a textile artist from New Mills and this is the first week of a seven week project for all the members of Project Earth. Anyone else that sees the videos and wants to join in is more than welcome. Although I'm a textile artist, we're not actually doing textiles in this project. As most of you have been stuck at home for a long time now, I thought it would be a nice idea if we travelled around the world through art. So each week we're going to be looking at a different artist from a different country around the world. We're going to have a look at some of their work, what inspires them, and then we're going to have a go at doing something in their style and having a go at some of the techniques that they've used to make our own work. If you're in uh, Project Earth, then you will have been delivered a bag with all the things that you need every week. There's a list at the beginning of each worksheet showing you what you need for that week. The couple of things you might need to get from home, but pretty much everything is in the bag. I'm going to show you the materials that you need for this week's workshop and then do a demonstration of the activities. There's going to be two activities each week um, and then an extra one that you can do on your own if you want to. The artist that we're looking at this week is Sonia Delaunay. She's a Russian artist, an abstract artist. Um, we're going to look at some of her paintings um, we're going to just do drawing and colouring and printmaking in her style and she also designed fashion so the extra activity is some fashion design. So I'll show you the materials now and then we'll do the demonstrations. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is look at the materials you need for this week. So you need a selection of coloured pencils, felt pens, wax crayons, whatever you've got, a few different colours, nice bright colours. You might also want a pencil sharpener and an eraser. You need some paints in your kit. You've got acrylic paint, you could also use poster paint, three nice bright colours of paint. I've got an old knife to scoop the paint out of the jar with and a palette. You might have a paper plate in your kit. I'm just going to use an old cereal packet. You need some circular things. Lids, old lids, milk bottle tops. I've got a cork there. I've got a little rubber stopper. I've got the lid of a coffee cup. You could use a cup, a saucer, anything circular and we're going to print with. So you need those. Um, your sketchbook. If you've got a Project Earth kit you need your sketchbook, if not you could just work on some paper and you need a bit of kitchen roll or tissue maybe to tidy up with afterwards. So we're going to look at Sonia Deloney this week. Here's a Sonia Deloney book with a picture of hers on the front cover. It's abstract, it's beautiful bright colours. The picture that we're actually going to look at this week is this one called Electric Prisms. It was painted in 1924 and was inspired by a busy street corner in Paris full of people and cafes. Sonia's used the light and the colours from the scene to create this abstract painting which is full of movement. If you look carefully you can make out a hint of two figures in the lower centre of the painting here. So for our first activity we're going to do some printing inspired by Sonia Deloney. She's used circles a lot here, she used circles and geometric shapes in all her work and we're going to have a go at printing some circles. If you've got a sketchbook I want you to start right in the middle page so if you open it in the middle page so you've got a double page spread to work on. Then I want you to get your paint palette and choose a colour of paint. I'm going to put a bit of 
glue on there. You don't need very much. I'm going to spread a bit of paint on that palette, just a little bit of blue paint. I'm going to use the paint all through seven projects, so use it sparingly. Now I'm going to choose one of my circular printing objects. I'm going to take the big coffee cup. I'm going to use this side and print with this bit here and see how it gets on. So you just need to rub your circular object in the paint like that. Lift it up. It's not very well covered yet, it's on the shape, but that should do. I'm going to print a circle. Press it down firmly but gently. Try not to move it about. So I've got a circle. It's not perfect. Printing usually isn't perfect. I'm going to have another go, print another one there. I'm going to join those two up. I've got a bit of a splodge in the middle there, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the other edge now. Makes a bit of a horrible noise. Maybe see if I can print a thin circle. I'm going to go right across the middle here. Got a very narrow circle but quite nice. I'm going to do another one of those down here. When you've got a few of those going you can change colour, you can change object. So I could get a little bit of yellow paint. I'm going to mix the colours badly here but um, I don't need to. We can get a bit of green going on. If you want to keep it yellow obviously wipe your brush first. I'm going to use the cork now and I can print some more circles with the cork. I could print them in the middle, I could print them going across the page. Try and get it moving right across both pages. So keep printing like that with different colours, different size circles and you should end up with a page that looks something like this inspired by Sonia Delone. So I've written Sonia's name at the top, I've written the date at the bottom and I've got my circles moving all across the page. So there you go, have a go at printing. Well I carry on and talk about the next thing we're going to do but first I'm going to make sure I put the lids securely back on the paint pots. We don't need the paint anymore this week and I'm going to wipe the knife with a piece of tissue and if there was any spare paint left on here I could scrape it back in but I've pretty much used it all so I'll just put that to the side for now. So the next project that we're going to do based on Sonia Deloney is drawing and colouring. We're taking inspiration from that painting again remember it's called Electric Prisms you can look it up online if you don't have a picture of it and I've used one page in my sketchbook here and I've drawn out four little diagrams using circles and then crossing the circles with some straight lines. So as you can see I've had a go at drawing some different ones there and then I've chosen one roughly like uh, this design here but altered it a bit and drawn it out big across this page. You could use a pen to outline the shapes and really make them stand out or I've used a I think I've used a wax crayon to go around the edges here but I've used it quite light so I can blend the colours together like Sonia did. So I'm going to carry on a little bit here I've used a wax crayon for that I think I'm going to blend it now into a colour pencil so you can blend the colours by going over again and again. Don't press too hard to start with. If you want to build that colour up stronger, work over it. Now I'm going to work over the edge a bit there so that I can blend that into the next colour. And I'm going to go over that there. So that pink is blending into that brownie colour which is blending into that orange. I'll go over a little bit there so that's going into there. Now I'm using a colour pencil for this one. So I've used the colour pencil but I could use a felt pen. So here I'm going to come across with the felt pen and again I'm going to blend it slightly into that colour and over that one. Or I could use a wax crayon. So here I'm going to use a yellow wax crayon to 
fill in that little triangle and again I'm blending the colours together and mixing them. You can blend the wax crayons, you can blend the pencils, you can blend the felt pens but if you're using the felt pens and layering them make sure the first layer is dry before you put the second one on otherwise um, you'll end up going right through your paper. So I'm just going to blend a bit of that orange into that yellow there. Go over the edges a bit. You know when you were told as a child never go over the edges, stay inside the edges. Well this time you can go over the edges and it blends your colours really nicely. So fill your page with all your bright colours and you should end up with a beautiful Sonia Delorno style piece of artwork inspired by electric prisms. If you want to carry on, if you're enjoying what you're doing, she also designed a lot of fashion. So on this next page, I've drawn some um, fashion models. I've taken the image from one of her pictures um, and I've used the geometric shapes here. I've used triangles and squares and rectangles to design some clothes. So if you want to have another go, have a go at doing some fashion design. She did men's as well as ladies, so you can do both. Well, I hope you enjoyed working in the style of Sonia Deloney and maybe you've discovered a new artist or you've discovered a new technique that you really like. Uh, next week, we're going to be looking at German artist Paul Clay. I'll see you all then. Bye.